Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, X's and O's. We are talking the Winston concept. What the hell is that? It is an out and a stop or a pivot. Lots of different ways to do it. We are diving into it from a bunch of different NFL organizations and playbooks. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. So the Winston concept most often for me is what I consider a West Coast concept. Now, I've run it in a bunch of different offenses, digit, uh, different variations of both. But at the end of the day, I think it's most prevalent across the West Coast system. And really what it is, is it's an outside in read. It is a speed out, not a square out, rounded. That is the number one read usually. And then inside of that with the inside wide receiver is a pivot or a stop, usually around the same depth. And the read is often one to two outside in, but in reality, it's kind of one-ish. And what I mean by that is you know if you're going to throw the speed out before you hit the top of your drop. It's usually five no hitch or five and throw, however you want to phrase it. Basically, you're not taking a hitch at the top of your drop if you're under center. And if you're in gun, it's usually three no hitch. I personally like to do an old school shuffle to get that little bit of a reset into it just to find the timing of it. But again, if you're going purely off most playbooks, it's going to be five, no hitch, let it go to the speed out, and then five reset or hitch to that inside pivot. And really, you're just reading the flat defender or access on that outside out. So this first one here, back in the New Orleans days, wide right open, two jet is the protection. Both Winston just means that it's going to happen on both sides. So really, the Winston concept is both sides of this thing. And here's that speed out. So this is the one. And then here's that little pivot or hook or turn, whatever you want to call it, and gives you, allow you to have this little runaway with that dotted line is. And the read here back in the day for us was pick a side. And you, what we're looking at here is free access, that FA cushion, and then away from rotation. And you could make the debate here about away from rotation, matchup, et cetera. But basically, we're looking to try to throw this out if we have it. And then if it's not there, if someone runs out underneath it usually, takes beelines for it, don't like the matchup, gets eaten up. But really, you got to think that you're going to throw this thing pre-snap. You can't kind of say, does he win and throw it? You're anticipating this throw. The ball's out of your hands before he comes out of the break, and you got to trust it. This cloud adjustment just means that if we get a cloud corner, so if we're out here and this corner rolls up into the flat defender and we get a half-field player over to this side, this now becomes a go route usually must outside release go we're not going to throw it maybe take a shot at that whole shot if you really love it but not really the intent of the call so that's what that cloud adjust is run it versus bump just means that we're going to stick with the speed out that's not every offense some offenses will say if it's bump anything within five yards we're going to also convert it but right here in new orleans we were keeping it on the other thing to pay attention to is this alert z call what is that that was a two-man call. So if we come up and we get two safeties and everybody is basically pressed a little inside, what is a classic two-man look? Well, we don't really want to run this because these guys are going to run out and underneath this. It's going to get eaten up at the pivot. So what is the adjustment we make? A Z call. If I remember off the top of my head, I want to say it was a clap signal in New Orleans. And what this means is it is an automatic must outside release go or cloud adjust. And now we are going to run the out from the number two. And it's not really quite a speed out. We might have done it exactly like a speed out, but really you want to give a little wiggle, almost like a nod at the top of this thing, come out of this thing. So really the route just kicks in one. So on a Z call, it will make the number two receiver run the speed out and the number one receiver will run the go. So just a nice, easy adjustment to two man. Winston, not a great play versus two man. Just with the leverage matchups, being able to eat those things up. So let's get into a Z call, get that outside go and inside speed out. Next example from the New Orleans days, we got a little zebra. That's 11 personnel. Wide right opens the formation. Gun sets it in shotgun. Two jet, three jet is the protection. Six person slide. And now we've got Winston X arrow. So again, got options here. Now instead of just living in the Z call world versus two man, we can work the arrow if we prefer that. Again, just different options. This would be a game plan thing while we're working one way or the other, potentially rotation reads, a bunch of different reasons to get there. But you can see now that we are splitting this field in half. So we've got two different reads. We've got if you work this side, one and two, 
And if you work the Winston, it's one and two, the same read. So again, just little bits and pieces of how you can structure this thing and add it together to give yourself a more complete menu to be able to beat whatever coverage you think you're going to face that week. Next one here, out of Tiger personnel, this was just 12 personnel, West Coast World. This is a pure progression read, so a little bit of a different read. So now it's Winston with a bow, and all bow is is a kind of a mini levels where we're going to come out here and on the backside run a basic or an in with that arrow, loop, whip, whatever you want to call it. So this now becomes a right to left or Winston through the bow, one, two, three, four. It's a little bit of a seven on seven play, in my opinion, where you're going to go one, all the way back to four, pretty hard in reality to be able to get back to this. The times that I used to come back to this thing would be versus kind of a cloud look over here where you basically eliminate the speed out, you get that cloud adjust, you say quick no to two, and then you just come back and kind of work this three, four together. So in reality, you know, you can, there are ways to accelerate this read right to left. It's very much not this kind of one robot, two, no, three, no, four, no type of read, five to the check down. That's fantasy land. So there are ways to kind of take these things away if you get cloud, if you don't like the matchup, if he's getting eaten up at the line of scrimmage, to then be able to work through the read a little bit quicker. But you can see we still carry that Z call versus two man. And there's a bunch of different ways to then attack it and structure it with different concepts on the backside. We've shown arrow, now we've shown bow, and you could really pair it with whatever you want versus another coverage that doesn't give you free access to that speed out or okey. Here's an example from my Green Bay days. Again, you can see a lot of similar uh, carryover here verbiage wise. Zebra personnel, 11 personnel, spread right is the two by two formation. We've got two jet, six person slide left with the back going to the right, and we've got double Winston. Different NFL offense, exact same verbiage. Read is the exact same. You can see the adjustments are the exact same. Fade versus cloud, read this thing outside in, pick a side. The interesting thing here is instead of a Z call, or the interesting thing to me at least, is that instead of a Z call, we change these things to an arrow. So again, arrow would just mean the exact same concept that we looked at a play or two earlier where we come up here, run a corner, and that inside whip. So instead of making a Z call where we kick the out into the number two. Now we make an arrow, either a signal, verbiage, doesn't matter what it is, how we got there. Instead of making a Z call, we lived in the arrow adjustment. So I kind of like both ways to do it, to be honest with you. I think the arrow gives you maybe two options versus the Z call that really only gives you that one number two on the speed out option. Very rarely are you going to throw that whole shot versus two man. So again, probably like the arrow adjustment a little bit better, but just fascinating to see how different teams have little different nuances even within the same scheme. Here's a more recent image from a Mike McCarthy playbook, Green Bay, I believe 2012. You can see the description here, five-step drop for the quarterback, pick a side read. Winston is just that outside out or okey with that pivot inside. Again, fascinating to see how different offenses kind of evolve but have similar concepts how they talk about it. Here's the drawing from that 2012 Packer look. Again, similar personnels, zebra, ace, wide right, similar formations. Again, we see the carryover with the protection, six-person protection, both Winston or Winston. And again, the read is the exact same. You can see the drawings have changed a little bit as far as what that pivot looks like at the top. They're working more down their stem versus kind of hookish and breaking away. So again, that's super detailed stuff that you would work at the top of routes. But again, lots of similar carryover. Again, you can see they carried more alerts as far as have no idea what shield or swing is, but we certainly know what the Z call adjustment is. So again, the same play, basically a decade later in the league, running the exact same way, similar adjustments. It just is growing as far as different ways to alert it, bring different things into the pa package. Next one here are some examples from the Falcons Shanahan days. We've got, again, double Winston as opposed to both Winston. Similar ways to talk about it, 11-12 personnel, 11-12 personnel, solo just two by two formations. Again, probably not my favorite way to do it or anybody's favorite way to do it at a 12 personnel, but again, you can see here just the differences as far as what they're doing here. On the outside now, this looks like they're a little bit more hingy versus speed out. Just with the split, this is, looks like a normal split. And then on the opposite drawing over here, we've got a little bit more of a condensed split. So this little what looks like the ace call brings them into a tight formation and then they're going to run it from more of a squeeze look where now they do get that kind of widen speed out 
So again, the read doesn't change, right? One to two. So you learn to play this play, Winston. You learn what the read is, and you can go to many NFL offenses and learn to work this thing. Again, the Winston landmark here, specifically on the pivot, you can see how very specific these are as far as where they're trying to get to the field. Three yards with the numbers, boundaries, one yards. Very specific with the landmarks. That allows and builds in the art of anticipation. These things don't happen by accident. You have to know where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there, and not fool the quarterback. Last image here I want to take a peek at are some more from the Shanahan Falcon days. Again, a bunch of different ways to do the exact same play. Right? They call it double Winston, both Winston, all Winston, whatever you want to say here. At the end of the day, the read never changes. It's outside in. One to two to the pivot, three to the check down. It's never all the way across the field when you're working double or both Winston. It's pick a side, burst on free access, rotation, however you're reading it that week. But I love the fact that the read never changes. There's a bunch of cool ways to do this. You can see here they're using a little short motion to basically have the number one receiver take over the number two receiver pivot. So a little switch there. Again, I love it out of a stack formation as well because you cheat that out split. If you cheat that out split, it just makes life a little bit easier on that out throw. It can be a little less precise, a little bit better as far as giving you more room to work. But again, love the stack split, love the condensed splits, squeeze splits, short motions, a bunch of different ways to get creative with the release when you get these switch releases that allow you to get the leverage you want to be able to work more space. So that is a wrap on the Winston concept. You can see that there are a bunch of teams that have West Coast bones in their offense that they can structure this and do it a little bit different. It's not always the same, but you can certainly see that once you learn to play the play outside in, you can combine it with other concepts. You can have some different tools versus different coverages with the Z call to be able to take advantage of space and leverage. Bunch of different ways to do it. I always love this concept. I do think it's worth noting that that speed out to the outside wide receiver is not the easiest throw in the world. Uh, for me personally, lower level of football, not in the league. We run at the high school level more of an all-time Z call. I really prefer this at a three-by-one as well. So we'll normally have that three-receiver side. That one receiver will run a must-outside release go. The number two receiver is now running the out. And the number three receiver is now running that pivot or stop. So that's just my personal per preference if you're looking to install this type of concept. But there's a lot of different ways to do it. Again, if you want to see other concepts on the channel, please let me know what you're thinking. I appreciate the support. I will see you next time. Have a good one.